Learning French is hard. I started learning French when I was six years old at school, but it wasn't until I started at university, almost 15 years later, that I actually understood what was going on with French. Because the reality is, French is a complicated language, and if you're watching this video, you've probably already figured that out. First reason why French is hard? The spelling. French is hard because half the letters you write don't actually get pronounced when you speak. For example, let's look at this phrase. This phrase means, the girls sing, but when you say it in French, you get, les filles chantent. As you can see, half the letters in the words aren't actually being said. I've put those letters in red. Worst of all, most of these letters actually have a function. If we look back at our phrase, the ENT at the end of chant is actually showing that that is the plural form of the verb that agrees with the word fee, which also has an S because it's plural. Oftentimes, silent letters are just agreements between adjectives and nouns, or verbs and nouns. Reason number two for why French is hard. French pronunciation. So remember all those letters that we just talked about that don't get pronounced at the end of words? Well, that's just the tip of the iceberg. Between learning the nasal vowel sounds and that pesky French R, as in the word chut or rue, you have to master what the French call liaison. Liaison is a phenomenon that happens between two words. The first word generally ends with a letter that is not typically pronounced, but the second word that follows starts with a vowel. For example, if we look at the word lay, we can see that the S at the end of that word doesn't get pronounced. So for example, when you put it with a word like femme, meaning women, we get les femmes, the women. However, if your noun that follows that word starts with a vowel, as in oiseau, meaning birds, that S does get pronounced, so we get les oiseaux. This also happens with words that begin with H's, as in the case of les hommes, meaning the men. And this brings us to reason number three why French is difficult. Because for every French rule, there are a thousand French exceptions. So remember those liaisons we just spoke about? Well, let me introduce you to the letter H. A hundred percent of the time in French, H's do not get pronounced. However, there are two types of H's in the French language. The first is called the silent H, as in the word um. The second is called the aspirated H, as in the word ash. But those are both silent. Not really. The difference between the silent H and the aspirated H is that the aspirated H is immune to liaisons. So when we look at the plural forms of the word um and ash, we see that the S at the end of le can become a liaison with um, but not with ash. So that gives us two different forms of the word le. Les hommes, les ash. Is your head spinning yet? Well, in case it wasn't, Reason number four for why learning French is difficult. Native speakers of French speak really quickly. Don't believe me? Try watching the news. But don't let all of this discourage you. There is some good news. Number one, a lot of English words actually originate from the French language. This happened in part because the English medieval elite actually spoke French in their courts because they didn't want to speak English, which was the language that the peasants were speaking. For example, the word candle comes from the French word chandelle, and the English word person actually comes from the French word personne, which itself was borrowed from Latin. The point is, studies show that English speakers who have never spoken a lick of French in their life actually know thousands of French words simply because they've been borrowed into the English language. Secondly, learning French may not actually be that hard because literally everybody on the internet wants to learn French. Okay, not really, but there are so many French resources available online that learning French is actually pretty easy. Between the tutorials, the grammar guides, and the countless French media websites, you should have no problem understanding all the little intricacies of French. Even though they might annoy you. A lot. Thanks for watching the Polyglot Files. See you next time!